What's happening, people? Welcome to the video. So this this video, obviously, our cat is being a dick. Um, it's gonna be an interesting one. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to share Carrie's insight to the bodybuilding world. Obviously, she's relatively new to the game, and and she's been seeing me go through everything I've gone through in our relationship and all that fun stuff. So I thought there'd be some some enjoyment in, in sharing that and getting her to answer some questions, which we have here. So posted on Instagram, the whole ask me a question thing, anything about us prepping together, uh, her experience with me competing, her competing and all that fun stuff. So we're gonna go through these questions right now. Um, just a quick little backstory. Uh, before us being together, your knowledge on bodybuilding. Pretty much nothing. You knew who Arnold Schwarzenegger was? <laughs> yeah. That's probably it. Now? Bodybuilding is life, life, basically. So, um, yeah, like she said, before us really being together, obviously bodybuilding is a very niche sport in itself. So not a lot of people know about it unless you're involved in it. Now she's following competitors. She watches the videos. She's obviously competed herself. So it's it's cool to see for me all the knowledge you now have. So okay, um, first question um, relates to us competing together. Last April, we had both prepped for November. I started, December you started? I started November, you started October. Oh yeah, jeez, so I was fat. So five, six months we had prepped for this show together. It was her first show, my, I don't know, sixth by that time. So what was the hardest part of us prepping together, my dear? Probably just dealing with each other. <laughs> <laughs> like we had oh, wow. scheduled times for like cooking food in the kitchen. We would both come home and like didn't really want to talk to each other and just wanted to go to bed. So that was probably the hardest part. Like our relationship was put on the back burner for each of us putting the purpose of prep beforehand. Yeah, like if you've competed before, you'll know that it 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 takes a lot of energy just to do your daily tasks. Obviously you, you train. And, and that kind of stuff, you're doing your cardio, but then it's prepping your food, like you said, being in the kitchen, um, you know, going to get groceries, or like, you know, there'd be times when one of us would be out of something, so the person, you'd have to go and buy it. Like last night, for yeah. example, I had to go buy eggs at like nine o'clock at night. So it's just little things like that, that like you said, the relationship kind of gets pushed to the side, and especially with us both, both competing, you know, one of us was out of something, or like we, had the treadmill in the basement and it was like, who's, who, <laughs> yeah, who's, who's doing car yeah, who's doing cardio right now? And like, you know, and then we butt heads and be like, I wanna get mine done and sit on the couch while I wanna do mine, sit on the couch, so. Yeah, yeah so that, that, I agree with you, the hardest part for sure. Um, counter to that, what was the best part about us competing together? Um, probably just sharing the experience, especially for me, it was really, like, obviously I didn't know what to expect with my first prep. And both of us were just really proud of each other. Like we, I think it brought us closer for sure. We had our tough times, but I think it also really helped us to see like, even when we're both at our worst, <laughs> that we Which could we make were. it, yeah, that we could make it through like six months of that. And like, we just really supported each other and we were both really happy for each other. Like the day we finally made it to the stage. Yeah, for sure. Um, best part of us competing together, I would agree. Like just being, going through that together, like prep's not easy. Um, I'll be the first to say it, she'll be the second, that it's very hard. And, you know, for us to both come out of that, you know, our relationship wasn't like damaged by it at all, right? We had a lot of people say like, oh my God, you're, you're doing this together. Like that's like a suicide mission. You're gonna hate each other and all this kind of stuff. And like she said, there's times when like, yeah, it was hard and you get frustrated with one another and that kind of stuff. But honestly, yeah, at the end of it, to be able to, you know, share the experience together on that same day, like there's still like probably our favorite photo of one another. We were backstage yeah. and someone caught us in a kiss and it's like, <laughs> it was the background screensaver on my phone for a long time after that because it was just, it was a perfectly timed photo and really summed up like, you know, it wasn't us on stage with medals or trophies or all that kind of stuff. It was just, you know, backstage, just kind of embracing the experience together. So that was super cool. I think for that one too, part of the reason that I was excited to do my first prep was to understand what he goes through. Mm. Cause I think that was a big one even for his first time prepping. When I wasn't competing, like I didn't really understand bodybuilding and like what goes into a prep and how you actually feel. <laughs> and like I used to always joke with him that, you know, like you think you know, 
what it feels like to be tired or to be hungry, but you now actually know what that feeling feels like until you do a prep. Yep. Like it's it's real. So I think that was a huge eye opener for me to be able to understand that process and like. Yeah, like when I was super depleted, like when I'd competed, you know, when we were first together, and I'd come home at the end of the day and like barely have any energy to talk, and she'd be like, "How was your day?" Blah blah blah, and I'd be like. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I'm like, why are you not talking? Like, it hurts to talk. Yeah. <laughs> I have no energy. Um, okay, so now, um, so some hindsight before this question. So when we had started dating, I had just finished a show like a month or two before. So she had seen me like the first six, seven months of our relationship was happy Leroy off season, you know, all this kind of stuff, and then. I had started prep for nationals that year. So I had competed in nationals and then went to worlds. Oh my God. Please ignore our dog. Um, so I had competed a few times before she had actually experienced the stage. So what what's the worst part about me competing? And obviously now I'm, I'm prepping now and you're not. So what's, yeah. what's the worst part? What's the worst part about this whole thing? Um, probably just like your really bad days when I just want you to be in a good mood and you're not. And probably just our relationship. Like as much as you try to not put your relationship on the back burner, like it, it ends up happening. Like you can't, you don't get to have as extravagant like date nights and do all the things that you want to do and you don't have the energy to do those things. So I think that's probably the hardest part. Like I know that we can't have like an extravagant date night or like a trip away without packing like 10,000 meals. <laughs> Until like <laughs> we can't even drive. We can't even drive to my parents' house a, yeah. a, an hour away without spending an hour every morning trying to pack everything. Yeah. And it's just a very restricted lifestyle, but it's the name of the game. Yeah, for sure. Like if you're not, uh, and like like kudos to her for being extremely understanding, and, and definitely more now because she's gone through it. But you know she doesn't harass me or harp on me for needing to take time to prepare stuff or like if we can't like for example before I started this prep like every Friday night we had like pizza and we'd watch a movie that was like our thing and we probably did that for two or three months straight that was our our thing and unfortunately we can't do that now but like she's, she's really mad about it she didn't complain about it and <laughs> Friday will come around and I'd be like sitting there and we'll be watching TV I'd be like man this would be a lot better with a pizza but like it, it is what it is, right? And, and she understands it that much more now and it's not forever, it, it feels like it sometimes, but like when it's all said and done and yeah. it's worth it when you get to that stage and you can, you can celebrate that, right? Like honestly, I think both of us can say like celebrating when I compete is better than pizza. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? You have to have that mentality about it, right? Or, or it's, not, it's not gonna work. Um, why didn't Leroy coach you for your first show? The amount of times I've asked this question. Yeah, that was <laughs> so I got asked this question by a lot of people and honestly, like, it's hard for the people that are outside of the bodybuilding world and like the prepping world to understand like why he wouldn't have coached me. But for this being my first prep, we really didn't want to put that on our relationship. Like even people who are pros or like have been doing it for a really long time coaching have a really tough time like coaching their significant other and I knew for me like I didn't want my partner to be the one telling me basically can't eat that. you can't eat that like don't look that great this week like we really need to crack down on things so for me it was more of a mental thing like I just wasn't ready to kind of put our relationships through that not knowing how it was gonna go for prep itself so yeah. that's the reason why yeah and for me as like a coach like I, I'll echo what she said like to have that pressure on myself to like, you know, she she goes down in the morning to take her progress photos and it's like, <laughs> not a great week, hon. Like, you look great though, but yeah. for bodybuilding standards, you got work to do. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's just asking for trouble. And like she said, whether it, you're an amateur in your first show or a pro, you know, if your partner, like you gotta be super strong to be able to do that together. And that's something that I, I honestly don't know if I ever wanna take that on when no. it comes to coaching you, if you ever decide to, step on stage again because it the stress of prep itself us doing it together but then to add that extra layer of me trying to coach her it's just yeah I think <laughs> it's probably asking one. for way more trouble than you we get need to kind of like irritated and grumpy and tired enough as it is 
to be able to separate that from like trying to be a good spouse to then also trying to have that athlete coach relationship would be extremely difficult. Yeah, yeah. and we, we both use the same coach, the coach that I've been yeah. working with for years. So that relationship that I had with him and she had knew him actually like through work, just through networking with that. So already there was a, a good network for the both of us because we were working with the same person. Yeah. So that relationship was already good. So that was something that was super valuable to us. So if you're you know, a partner to a competitor or you're both looking to work with somebody, I would definitely get probably the same coach just so you have that good relationship versus like her working with someone, me working with someone, and then we're following different plans food choice wise, for example, or like my coach is telling me like high carb, her coach is saying no carbs are bad. Then that's just like, well, why are you doing this when I'm doing this? Whereas like my coach had us following similar protocols, just a little bit tailored more towards me, more towards her. Yeah. So it was super easy to manage, especially food wise, because we were eating basically the same things, just different amounts. And that was easy for like grocery shopping and cooking and stuff. So yeah, I agree. Um, how did we separate competing together? Okay, let's do a two-parter. So how do we separate competing together from our relationship? And then how do we separate like me doing it as robotic as I do and keep our relationship intact? I don't know, I feel like we both kind of just had that understanding already because at that point we'd been together for three years. So like we both understood how each other operated and like it was more intense than the other. Um, <laughs> yeah. One, one vote for intensity. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I feel like, like we still made that time for each other and like we've always communicated very well. So like when we had bad days, it was kind of like, okay, I love you, but like. I need some space. Yeah, either I need some space or like we need to be a little bit more like involved with each other and kind of like focus on our relationship for a little while. So like we would do like little date nights and have like our like beef and yeah I was that was like literally just in my head make like, time for like a dinner like yeah, a table like actually dinner sit down and, and sit down and talk about yeah, things yeah um, yeah I think that's the biggest thing like you still have to make time for each other and understand like what each other's going through but also try to make it better for one another yeah and like when we had like cheat meals and stuff like there got to a point where like she wasn't like given them as much as maybe I was, but when yeah. there was those times that like we did get to enjoy a meal out together, like we fucking enjoyed it, right? Like yeah. not to the point stuffing our faces enjoying it, but I mean like on an emotional level, like it was nice, like, you know, we'd get out of our gym clothes and yeah. like, you know, drive to the restaurant and like sit down and we're all like, you know, water please, yeah, yeah, water, yeah. And then we'd get our meal and like really like enjoy it. Like I don't know if I've ever ate slower than when we'd have date, date <laughs> yeah, meals true. out because you just kind of enjoyed it. Um, and like, yeah, like like you have those moments where you kind of step back and be like, we're not, uh, we're not giving each other enough. Yeah. Right. We need to just like, let's, you know, let, let's get our food cooked and let's go, let's go sit on the couch and watch TV. Right. Like something that little on prep, like can go a long way because yeah you're so focused on what you're doing and it's so time consuming. So when you have time to do something simple, you know, like like now, for example, like now that we have the dog, like I know for us, like, cause I'll be prepping through the summer, like to just make time to go for a walk together. Yeah, that was and a like, tough one. Even with like, that was our first year having like our own home together. When yeah, we the that's house. true. So we had like shoveling snow yeah. and like cutting the grass, um, like, Empty and loading the dishwasher, just like simple things that you don't think about and doing laundry that like when you're one person doing it on prep, then you kinda get mad and you get mad at the other person. So like we were good that way that like we had our days, but then we also learned how to communicate with it and be like, Okay, yeah. like you do this and I'll do this kind of thing to help each other both get through it. Cause yeah. it was a lot. <laughs> and now with me competing by myself and you not, like do you do you think we're better at it? I think we're better at it this time around. I think more so me, just because I know, like I understand it and I know how much goes into it and like how you actually feel, how exhausted you can be. Yep. Um, I think it's harder now because I just want to prep again with you. <laughs> like it just constantly makes you like, I want to do that too, but we have different, different goals and like different needs right now. Yeah. Like yours is more like, I got to figure some health shit out. Yeah. Whereas I'm like, I'm going to compete again. 
Yeah. It's, it's harder that way just because you're always like itching to do the same thing because it would make it easier. But for me, I've had to like take a step back and it's not my time yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my time. No. Um, to like, you know, where I am like competitively, like I'm going into like show number 10 this year, I think. So my experience is like, you know, way more than someone else that's maybe competing for their first, second or third show, right? So, you know, like Friday night we went to the movies, right? And she got food and like, you know, her brother was there with his girlfriend, they're eating popcorn and stuff like that. And I know for me, if I was competing for my first time, I would have really struggled with that. Like just the smell and just being around it and you're like so tempted. <laughs> but like now, like it doesn't bother me. Like it genuinely, I could, could care less. Like I'll jokingly be like, give me a sniff, right? But like, that's me being me and being an idiot. That's not me being like, oh my God, I really want that, right? So I think that is helpful that I'm farther along because we can yeah. still we can still do things. It's not where I'm like, no, 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 I can't do that, I can't do that. I just know I can't eat these foods, right? Like I'm more than happy to go, you know, to the movies or, you know, we go for family stuff all the time and like, you know, I'll just bring my own, right? And she understands that, I understand that, and we can we can do those things. But I think that would be an obstacle for sure. Like, if you were doing your first show and I wasn't, I think there would be challenge in me wanting these foods and yeah. you sitting there being like, yeah, that I don't think we fun. could do that. I honestly don't. I think you would, you would have struggled with that a lot. So yeah. that's just some kind of insight into that because I think if, you're competing yourself for your first time and it your really partner has to have like that support and understanding yeah like if, if you didn't know your partner, yeah. if you didn't know then you're not gonna have an understanding of like how I'm feeling about not being able to eat that and like I'm the internal battle I'm having and you're just eating it and you're not really understanding and then like that would cause a lot of friction I think yeah um, what is your fondest memory from Leroy competing over the years? So obviously us competing together is probably number one, but in our relationship before that, I would have competed twice. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah just yeah, the two. Yeah, nationals in Spain. Yeah. Fondest memory? Um, going to Spain was pretty cool. And like, That's it was sweet. really, it was like, we went for the experience, obviously like we knew what the cards were gonna be at that show. But it was just really cool to see you like make it that far and there was only like four of them there representing Team Canada. So I think for me like that was just a big moment. Um, but also like you winning the overall at Coburg. I shed some tears in the audience <laughs> and I looked like an idiot. But I was just so excited. Like I see it more so than everybody else. Like what you put out on Instagram and stuff is obviously what people see but like in the background like I see how hard he works and like I know the hours that he puts into it and like what he says no to and and like how hard he really works and he had really been working so hard for that overall and to see him get it. It was a screensaver on my phone leading yeah, into that crap was, that said overall. <laughs> it was a really big moment and I think it was just the excitement even of that day from us competing together like it was just so cool. Like for, capped it off. Yeah it was just so cool for us to share that moment that I could be there. Um, when we first started dating, what was your initial thoughts <laughs> on my competitive life? I really struggled with it. We were together, so we started dating in August, and you had started prep. It was like January. January, like I think January 1st you started. And I honestly didn't think that it would be that bad, and then like the months kept going by, and you just got more grumpy, and like I just wanted, I think at that point, like we were both still very young when we started dating and I was your typical like needy girl I that I attention. just, yeah I wanted Love attention, me. wanted to do things, didn't want to be restricted and I didn't understand the lifestyle and I didn't really eat as well then as I do now so it was yeah, a lot that's, harder. That, that's, <laughs> that's true though like that and that's right there would have been like it was an obstacle right? Like, yeah it was a lot harder so people like ask me that all the time and honestly like I almost I still remember having a conversation with my mom and I was like I don't know if I can Get rid of them. It's really hard. And I still, like, even on this prep, like, I've had my days where I'm like, oh my God, this is really hard. But nothing compared to, like, the first time, I honestly considered, like, this could be the it. <laughs> like, I don't know if I can do this forever. But I think that was a huge part of me doing it. What my, got you through it? Doing like, honestly, like, if you were, like, ready to, like, cut it, like, why didn't you? I think I just, 
like I can appreciate hard work and I was like, you know what, like Leroy doesn't over dramatize anything else. Like I feel like he's being genuine and we'll ride it out and see how it goes after this show. And I mean, it all obviously got better and came back after the show. So again, like it's a short term sacrifice and your relationship obviously will take a hit. Anybody that, that lives in a prep lifestyle like this is going to, whether you want to admit it or not. But I think, yeah. I just hoped that it would get better and that maybe, <laughs> maybe it like, was just please. me and it, it obviously has gotten a lot better and we understand each other more now. So. Yeah. Um, what are some hurdles we've, we've had to overcome over the years of competing? We've made, oh, for competing. Yeah, like relationship aside, I think we've had a decently smooth trip. Well, yeah, no, I just mean like well, we made the choice to sell our house when we were just about ready to step on stage in Coburg. Not a good idea. I don't recommend it. Yeah, it was stressful. Um, that was a big hurdle. We just made rash decisions <laughs> on <Yeah>. prep. <laughs> we're like, I'm hungry. Let's sell the house. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but everything worked out for us. Like hurdles wise, there's nothing like big. It just It's no. just like little things like, you know, timing out who uses the kitchen or like yeah. who's... And that being like in prep... I think even post-show, post-show is probably a bigger hurdle when you're a couple. Um, like, oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, touch on that real quick. Yeah, so like when we finish the show, like Leroy can, Leroy obviously can eat a lot more food than I can. So he would be like, "Okay, hey, I'm gonna eat again. I'm gonna eat again." And then obviously at that point I wanted to eat, so I was like, "Okay, let's eat." And I kind of tried to like keep up with him and just kept like eating, and it was not a wise decision. So I think the post show is a lot harder. Like, and even like we talk about all the time, like he can gain like 30 to 40 pounds back in his off season, like still has a six pack. <laughs> a soft six pack though. Yeah. But I mean, like obviously on a girl that looks a lot different and that's a really unhealthy weight gain. Yeah. So I think post show is honestly a harder battle than what the prep itself was in that regard. Yeah, no, for sure. Like definitely, like, like she said, like after the show, um, like I'm more than happy to just like let the weight gain come back, get to feeling better again, you know, enjoy a bunch of food and all that kind of stuff. And, and like for a girl, like most times, like you can't yeah. just like willy nilly it after the show, you've got to be really smart about it. And again, like that's where, that's where us doing it together was kind of a, a challenge because like she said, like we'd be sitting here and I'd be like, oh, let's go get Dairy Queen. And she'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then like on the way back from Dairy Queen, I'd be like, man, I want cookies and we get cookies and then she'd be like oh, okay right because it's just like at that point you just want whatever you're you can get your hands on basically and and I could take that and very little damage would occur whereas for you it wasn't so fortunate no no that and like those days where you had a gmail and I didn't yeah having to kind of <laughs> sorry having, our dog's almost knocking the camera over. having to try to kind of like he would go out and get like a burger from somewhere and bring it home and then I'd have to like make my own meal. That was definitely hard. Um, yeah, especially as like a first timer, you just wanna eat it. <laughs> yeah, that was hard. Um, and probably just like obviously, like people who follow me on Instagram know that like I went through a lot of health issues. Um, some of it prep related, some of it not. Most of it stemmed from like issues and I think that was probably a hard part because you didn't really understand what I was going like, through. Like what do you mean you're bloated and don't yeah. feel good? Yeah so I think that was I'm honestly, hungry again. <laughs> that was like a big a big struggle and it still is because I'm obviously still going through it um so it's kind of just been having that patience with each other and mm -hmm. being able to say you know what like I need to like back off from her a little bit because I think she needs being it. Being too hard <laughs> on her. Yeah. Um, okay, last one, it's a juicy one. Thoughts on Leroy ever taking the enhanced route and no longer being natural? I'm gonna insert like dun dun dun. <laughs> Obviously, I wouldn't leave you if you started doing them, but I just have my own opinions on steroids and I don't, I personally don't find that much attraction in that size of a human being. <laughs> like it's a bit much for me. Um, and also there's obviously like a lot of side effects that come along with it, but I wouldn't leave you over it. It's just not my first choice. And I just know how much he like 
visions himself and like takes pride in being a natural athlete and i know that like when he's 30 40 years old he's gonna be one of these like crazy natural athletes and if he starts taking it it's gonna take that away from him so i think it's more so just yeah. knowing what he stands for and what he gets so excited about and i just don't sometimes the fame and and the <laughs> the big picture of it gets into his head and i bring him back down to space every once in a while yeah i'm like you know, people ask me all the time, like, would you or would you not? And, like, I go back and forth on it a lot, but I'm more, definitely, like, more towards the idea of not. Like, I think if I was going to, I probably would have done it by now. And I think, like, you know, the biggest, well, probably one of the biggest reasons I don't is because I know my personality and how, like, I go, like, really intense on stuff. And, like, me and actually a guy on my podcast a week or two ago, we talked about this, and he's like, you know, and like I'm echoing him because I felt the same way. He's like, you know, I wouldn't do it because I would go so hard on it because of my personality, I'd like yeah. die by the time I was 30. Yeah. Right? Like with how hard I go on prep now and like just try to like milk it naturally, like stupid things like those glasses to help me sleep better or like trying to like time everything out to make it the best I can naturally and like trying to make everything perfect, like adding that into the mix, like I. I'd be huge, but I'd probably die real quick. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. isn't ideal. No. No. Still got a lot of living left to do. Yep, yep. All right, people, that was the last one. So I hope you guys got a little, you know, if nothing else, you probably got some entertainment for 20 <laughs> minutes. But yeah, giving you some insight into her her thoughts on me competing, obviously, and, and her experiences herself, us competing together, and, and where things are at right now. Um, I'm 13 weeks out from the next show and I honestly think it's probably one of the smoothest preps I've ever had for me, but also like, you know, in, in comparison to those first few that I had when we were together, like, and it just comes down to us both having a better understanding of how to navigate your relationship while on prep, I think is huge. And just knowing when to, you know, do your best to give each other attention and yeah. also like try to like, train together when we can and you know like I said like something simple as walking the dog can go a long way because we can actually have conversations not about leg day and <laughs> yeah. my meals. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Any closing thoughts? I don't think so. I think that really sums it up. Cool. Alright people, if you like the video give it a like, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.